I'm back and look what I found a pretty purple so we're gonna crochet a top out of it because why not I already started but like I'm gonna show you you make a loop this is how I make a loop take the ends like this you wrap it around your finger like this and then you can take the crochet hook or your fingers and pull the lower thread through Ta-da! So, chain stitch until you're like right here on both sides Like this and then it has to be an even number 57, 58 So 58 and then chain one and do a single crochet like this first don't go into the first one go into the second one get the yarn you have two loops pull through two loops and then you're gonna do a double crochet so you yarn over go into the next stitch pull, take the yarn pull through two take the yarn pull through two and then you're gonna do a single crochet and a double crochet and so on. At the end of the row, you should finish with a double crochet and at the beginning of the row, you should always start with a single crochet. Don't need this anymore. Satisfying. Well, actually not because like you stuck, gets, got stuck. You do this until it fits nicely around your boobies. And by the way, do you like my top? I made it too. I made a YouTube video about it. You should check it out if you haven't yet. Just like that. So that's pretty good. And now we're gonna make closure. And I mean, the closure is always the same in crocheting. So just chain stitch and I'll show you. So chain stitch. Do you know how long you have to chain stitch? Hold the piece of fabric to your body and like look how far away that is in the back. And then you can lay it on the floor and just like make a crisscross like you normally like do a corset or something. And so you connect it on the top first and you can see. Just like that and then you like make a crisscross. So you look for the middle and then you pull it through. Look through here. And then you do the same thing on the other side. Ta-da! That's what it looks like so far. But we need straps. So we're gonna crochet some more chain stitches. So I wanna have my straps. Like right here. So you just connect it by pulling it through and like making a knot. And then you can make a stitch. So that's longer than I need, but that's perfect because I will need some extra yarn to connect it. So yeah. Right here I'm just undoing it, like taking out the yarn until it like fits me. And make your straps a little tighter and like shorter than you would normally because like crocheting chain stitches, they stretch a lot. See? It stretches. That should be it. When you cut it, make sure to leave some extra yarn so you can connect it. Now just do the same thing on the other side, but I would do it, like take it off and just put it on the same like height and make it the same length. Yeah, that's easier. So to connect it in the back, you just go like in the wherever you want the loop, like depends on how long you made the top. And then you just make a knot. That's how easy it is, but make the knot pretty tight to the crocheting so there's not just a string and pull it very very tight and then just get rid of all the like yarn and then we can go on to the next part to the fun part are you ready guys 
So take a different color of yarn, or I mean, you could do it in the same color too, but like, that's boring. So take a different color, and you make a loop, and then you crochet chain stitches, but like, very loosely and very big. And the best is if you make like, some smaller and some bigger, like I'm doing right there. So, but you make them like, very loose, okay? You got it. So you do this until it like, fits the top. So it has to be the same length as the top, but like, it has to fit loosely, so don't stretch it or anything. Now comes the next row, and we're just going to do single crochets, but we're going to do them very loosely, okay? So that was actually quite tight, but like, like pull the yarn out, like you, you can do it. I know it's kind of hard, and it's kind of annoying, but what you can also do is, so you want to have it as messy as possible, so just like some stitches, like just leave them out, and then you to do two single crochets in one stitch, like just as messy as possible, okay? Yeah, it should be like a, like a mess, a big mess. Make it as messy as your room. And if you're a clean person, then I'm sorry for you. Yeah, you just can't have the, the creativity to do something like this. Like you have to have a messy room and that's how messy it should be. So that's what it should look like. It's like a mesh and you can pull it apart and it looks really cool. At least if you ask me, it's like a, sp like a spider net, but like not a spider net. It's like even cooler than that. So yeah, we're gonna stretch it and sew it onto the top when it's finished. I'm not quite finished yet there. Like, do it as much, and it should stretch a little, not too much, because otherwise your top will be get scrambled together, but like, it should stretch a little bit. And then we're gonna sew it on. So take a needle and thread, just like how you sew, you know, and like, it looks, look, it looks a little tiny, okay? But you just connect it to everywhere. And like make big stitches when you sew like you don't want tiny stitches like make it so the stitching is messy too okay so everything just has to be a mess so make a knot and do the big stitching and it should pull together a little bit the top because it's stretchy but when you put it on and it's tight on your body it will it will look good ah look how cool this already looks oh my god i love it okay see you later guys Oh my god, it's so unique for sure, but I love it. It's like a spider web, but like a cute one and purple and white. Well, next up, get rid of all the yarn and then you're done. Peace out. <laughs> What do you think? At first, I didn't like them at all, but now that I have makeup on, I actually kind of like it. And look at my makeup, I have like stars. Kind of look like, um, like a cute bank worker, I think. That's what it looked like with the glasses. Anyways, I hope you like this video. Come back for the next one, or I'll come for you. No, I'm just kidding. I won't do that. Bye-bye, bitches.